my beautiful people handsome guys lovely and amazing souls thank god thank god thank god thank god for a great day it's a beautiful monday morning and um i am so happy and so 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 highly excited to connect with you this morning thank you for joining thank you thank you thank you thank you please as you're joining share the video because today's topic is going to be very very hot i can feel it i can feel it don't come here alone go and invite someone how do you invite someone just share share this video because everyone needs to hear need to hear you need to hear today's topic is very hot and i'm so 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 i can't just wait to start dishing it out to start as in dish it out the way it is on my mind and trust me to benefit you to benefit your sister married or single especially for the single ones today's topic yes we did something close to uh, uh still single last week and today is still all about before marriage and now marriage share 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 as we are coming up i am so happy to see you how as your day as your week been to the glory of god you will not regret joining me today today's topic is about family as in your relationship with your family. Oh, they were very important. He they choke me as I they talk to. So. Hey, share, 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 share. Yes, by the grace of God, our today's topic is your family. Someone will say, What about my family? I want to let you know that your family is important now, will be important later. And we forever be important. Most people do mistake of allowing people that don't know the value of family to destroy their family. And some will be like, ah, what is this woman saying? What I'm saying is, before you became married to that man, that woman, you were with your family. Maybe minimum of 20 years okay let's just say 18 years 20 years 25 years 40 years and thereabouts you were with your family this is your family member your parents your siblings uncle and auntie that you grew up together knowing each other valuing each other and now that you are married to somebody that don't know the way the how you build each other how you love each other how you relate with each other when you are growing up just for this person to come from nowhere to start blocking the relationship or scattering the relationship you have with your parents your siblings your 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 your, 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 your peer group when you are coming up this is very very important now you you married someone and when you when you are not married to this person some some i don't i don't want to use words i don't want to use language that are that are not good but let me tell you some people are demon they are demonic in nature some people are working with the agent of darkness to see that what what you have built with so with years over the years to just scatter it anyhow now by the grace of god you, you, you grow up with your parents, you are doing well, your parents suffer over you, even if your pa even if your mother or your father, according to some people, even if they are evil, you hold them nothing but love. Appreciate them, say, if my father and my mother can take care of me up to this level, then I hold them a lot. Love, appreciation. Now you're not getting married to this person. This person is not telling you your family are bad. Your family members are bad. They are bad people. And in your own malicious brain, you now agree. I said, mm, that's true. They are bad people. Who does that? They are bad people, but yet you were with them all this year. You never see that they are bad. Some people, like I said, are agents of the devil just to bring you down. What they don't have, Dabimotida, 
be as I be. That is what some people are. Some men can be so callous because they don't have the fact, they don't have the, the love of family when they are growing up. And what they want to do is to destroy your own relationship with your own family. You need to watch out. Some women, they don't value their relationship with their family. And what they want to do, getting married to you as a man, is to separate you between, so separate you and your family. You need to watch out. If you are single and you are, you are watching me right now, why going into marriage? Don't let love blind your eyes. Love is blind, love is blind. There is nothing blind inside. Even the only book say, watch as you are watching, as you are praying, you watch don't be blind with love don't be deceived your family is important my family is important especially family that they are they, they, they do things together when you're not married now say ah, that your family oh ah you have to you have to be careful with them because they will want to kill you by the time you now turn your your back at your family trust me they will deal with you they are ready to deal with you because the people that can that can help you, the people that can that can that can rescue you, they've turned your back against them. Like my in my home, if God forbid, my husband is behaving well to the glory of God, God is helping him. But the day you want to do PM, is it if God will not even allow it? Why? Because he knows that I am coming from somewhere. Now let's imagine that I've told him, hey, my family member is this, my family member is this, my family member is that. Negative painting. I will still be the one to suffer it. But when you let your husband or your wife know that you value, you value your, your family, your family, your husband or your wife will join you in valuing your family. Your, you, you are a woman. You just married. Two years into the, into the marriage, you already forget your family member. There is nothing any of your family member can do to you or say to you that you want to hear. You carry your matter. Your brother or your sister, your uncle or your auntie. You see that my uncle, I will never forgive him. He has done me this. He has done you that. How do you think your family, your husband or your wife that you are telling negative things about this particular person? We see this person and still want to relate I still want to want to see this person as a good person. See eternity. Take it or leave it. By the time you will forgive this your, your uncle or your auntie, by the grace of God, by the time you forgive them, your husband will not forgive you. Will not forgive the person. Or your wife will not forgive the person. So I want to indulge us that no matter what, whichever kind of love that is covering your eyes, Know that your family, they are important. Now, eh, eh, like, like, like uh, some women, let me tell us, whether you like it or not, you will become a mother-in-law someday. You now marry somebody's son, and you now say, your mother is a winch. You too, you be winch. Because it takes a winch to, 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 to know a winch. And you, you as a mother, a, a, a son is bringing a, a daughter into your home, and you say, ah, this one a winch. You, mama, you be winch. It takes a winch to know a winch. So, if you have a, a, a child, the way you want to be treated, treat someone like that. Dear brother, they are single, they are married. If you are married and somehow you're, you're, you, you don't talk, talk, you have allowed your husband or your wife to destroy the relationship you have built over the years with your family, it is not late. You can still repair it now. Because that man, that woman, he go deal with you. And when he is dealing with you, when she is dealing with you, you will need your family to come, rest, to, come to your rescue. They are men, they are women. That you are turning the, the life of someone against their family. You need to repent before the judgment of God come upon your life. And you, that even you yourself, you are the enemy of yourself to your family. You are not married yet, but everybody in your family is a bad person. You need to check yourself. If everybody is bad, if everybody is wrong, and you are the only right person, then you should sit down, check it, and check it again. Check it again. How can you be the only one that is right out of the whole family member? Hey!
you need to check it. You need to watch out. You cannot be the only one that is right. Even, okay, some people will say, eh, my family member, they are not born again. What is your duty? What is your, what is your assignment? It is your responsibility to carry them along. If you are the only born again, if you are the only born again soul, if you are the only one that you think you know God in your family, every other person, are, they are sinners, then you need to check yourself that you are not yet there. As much as you know God, carry your family members along. Let them know God with you. If you are the only rich one, if you are the richest, the only rich man or the only rich woman in your family, you are poor. Ah, let me not help her so that you not come and pass me. Let me not help him so that you not come and pass you. You will die as a poor person. And to you, dear person, dear viewers, as much all the things your family member are doing for you, you are not seeing anything good inside. Somebody that have helped you, what you want to do is to see the person coming down. You want to see that the person perish. Watch out what will happen to you. Let me not waste much of your time. Like I said, it they choke. It they hurt. Watch out. You are single. The way you are building family, the way you want to destroy somebody's family, trust me, you are building a family. I know they curse you. I know they swear for you. But wait till you want to make it happen here, go happen here. God is a merciful God. We should not tempt him. But my message to us this morning, let us value our family. Let us build our family. Let us respect each other's family. As I love your family, love my family. As I respect your family, respect my family. And we should know that what is working, what has been, what you have been practicing in your family. I am new. I am coming in to adapt. I am coming in to learn. The way we behave before where I'm coming from is different from the way you behave. So don't see me as a bad person. Maybe in your family, you don't love each other. And in my family, my family's name is love. So when I carry love, come with a pure church mind. Don't think I am evil. When you want, when we say, when, when is that I love everybody in my family, both in a standard what we do to people is to love. We do things together. And when you now when I now come to your family, you now expect me to separate this from this. I am not brought up that way. That is not the way I was raised. You should understand. And some of us, they will say, if you can't beat them, join them. We don't join evil things. We don't join bad things. We join good things. We celebrate good things. Because your family, you're not doing well. Because your family, you're not together. Does not mean I should come and join you. And do, and, and, and be fighting each other. No, it doesn't work like that. And it do not work like that. Some family, come what may. It's love. It's love. Love, love, love. And you know, when you love each other, you walk together, it is very difficult for the devil to penetrate. It is very difficult for the devil to break you. So when you're, as, you're going, as you're preparing to go into marriage, tell yourself, not even my wife, not even my husband, we turn my back, we turn, my, we turn me against my, my family. Because, like I said, I've said it before, I'm saying it again. You will suffer it. And watch out for agents. Watch us for people that have mission. Their mission is just to destroy you. Watch out. How can all these things be achieved? Watch and pray. Invite God and stand your ground. Be determined. Don't be someone they can easily, you can easily change your mind. Say, ah, you see that your that your your mother's your mother's sister can win you. You you how they are you taking them? When I don't meet for meeting before. My dear people of God, Dr. Solomon is my name, a.k.a. Mama Bujua. Our topic for today, remember, family, and it's very, very important. Your family is important. In case your family is not important to you, my own family is important to me, oh. And my in-laws, I love them sincerely, genuinely, and I will always love them. I appreciate them. I celebrate them. 
but they cannot come in between me and my family. And I will never, by the grace of God, turn my husband against his family. Because, because I will love family in my, in my place. I will always love my people, my in-laws, to come together. Whoever that is going to destroy your relationship that you have built with your family, the Lord will separate you and that person. Because we will not want you and your family to grow together. We will not last with you. Will you come and destroy you? I move. But I pray for you. The person that will destroy you will not come your way by the grace of God. Thank you and thank you again. Join us again Monday next week, same time, by the grace of God. Don't forget, if you have not shared this video, share it right now because someone needs to hear. For more than 200 people that have connected with me, I want to say thank you for coming. Thank you for believing in me. Thank you for joining me and thank you for trusting me. And I pray, my prayer always is, God, let me not mislead people. I will not mislead you. I will not misbehave. Your, tr you, your trust, I will not disappoint you in the name of Jesus. And before I go, I want to say thank you for my dear husband, Engineer Solomon Onazi. I love you and I will always love you. Family is important. I thank you for loving my family and thank you for taking me for the whole family, for all your family members. I love you all and thank you for say, taking me as I am. You will not make mistake. You single person that is about to say yes, you will not make mistake. You will not say yes to somebody that will destroy you. You will not say yes to somebody that will destroy your family in the mighty name of Jesus. Please do good to somebody's child so that somebody will be able to treat your child well. God bless you. Thank you, Mr. Gunade. I celebrate you. God bless you. Till I come your way again, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Budua Plus TV. Follow this uh, page, Bedroom Zone, and on Instagram, Bedroom underscore Zone. You need to talk to someone, Dr. Solomon is available. Right on this page, my number to my WhatsApp is there. And God bless you. Have a great day. Your week is blessed. In Jesus' name. Bye.